Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you how to share Xbox Game Pass with another person, whether it be a family member or a friend. Just keep in mind that you do require their information. So you need their email and login in order to do this. You have to log in with their account information on your handheld device. But once that's done, you can sign out of them and you no longer have to sign in with them. They just have to be registered on the account in order for this to work. This is going to work on your Xbox Ally X, your Ally Z1 Extreme and any other Windows handheld PC gaming system. So now I believe this shares everything with xbox game pass with the other person excluding two things so you're not going to get a point boost for daily login and playing games like you would with game pass and you won't be getting the fortnite premium with xbox game pass ultimate I think that does require you to link it with your account so i don't believe you can actually share that with the other person however you will get all the games cloud gaming and everything else associated with game pass so just to show you that i'm not a currently active subscriber of game pass i'm going to go to my account Go to my subscriptions and it'll show you that it's expired and I'm not currently active on Xbox Game Pass. If I back out and I go to Game Pass, it'll show me discover Xbox Game Pass and it'll tell me to pretty much subscribe. So with that out of the way, let's actually get into it. So the first thing you want to do is just pop up the Xbox app or the homepage for the Xbox Ally X. You're going to go to your account in the top left hand corner here and you're going to go ahead and sign out. From here, you are going to need the other person's email and password information. If they happen to have two factor active as of the time that you're doing this, then obviously you're going to need them for that because they're going to have to receive a code. If they don't, then you could go straight in by just using the password. From here, you're going to click on Microsoft account and you're going to click continue. Then you're going to sign into that person's Xbox Live account. So you're going to use their email password, get through that, and then it should boot you into their account. I already happen to have the other person's email account, so I'm going to just click on that and continue. From here, it's going to pop up this page here. Once you're fully signed in, it's going to show you welcome back and then that person's name. It's going to show their gamer tag and then you're going to press let's go. Now, once you do that, it is going to pop up this page here. Confirm the account you want to use for purchases. Just keep in mind, yes, this is going to give you access to basically their Xbox store account. You can always switch back to your account and buy something if you want to but any purchases are going to be redeemed to that other person's account. So what you want to do is just go ahead and set as store account with the person with the Xbox game pass that's trying to share with you. So go ahead and press on that. And then once that's done, it should pretty much just set that as is. What you can now do is just go ahead and sign out of that person's account and you no longer have to sign into them. Then you could go ahead and sign back into your primary account and then just press let's go. You are going to get this pop up here again. Like I said, just make sure you go ahead and click on that person with the game pass account. Just keep current settings and then it should boot you back into the Xbox page here like this. Now, if I go into my subscriptions and show you that I am no longer expired and it shows active now. And if I go to game pass, it should now show Xbox game pass ultimate. And I could go ahead and click on a game. I can install it. I could play with cloud. I could go to my library here, go to everything in game pass and it'll show that I now have access to all the game pass games, whether it be core premium or ultimate. Now, if this does not pop up for you, just go ahead and close out the app entirely, relaunch the app or restart your Xbox Ally X and it should refresh and populate with all the games and show that you are now an active Xbox uh, subscription holder. Now, the only downside to this is that you are going to get that pop up every single time you do launch into the Xbox app or turn your Xbox Ally X on. All you have to do is just press keep current settings and then you'll continue to benefit from the Xbox Game Pass. Now, when I said that you're going to be using their account and it's going to be registered as the main Microsoft Store account, I'm not talking about the store that you see here. Now, you could go into this and you could go to Arc Raiders and you could buy it and it is going to be purchased on your account. What I'm talking about is the Microsoft account on Windows when you go into that that is going to register whether or not you buy things on their account versus your account. Now, of course, you may never actually go into that. And if you're using just the Xbox home screen or full screen experience and you buy games here, it is going to buy games for your account. and You don't actually have to boot them out or switch Xbox home or Microsoft store accounts. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and revert what you just did and you want to set your account as the main Xbox store account, just go to the top left hand corner go to my subscriptions and it's going to show account mismatch. You're just going to go ahead and click on review. It's going to pop up that confirm the account you use for purchases again, and you're going to set the store account as your main account. 
Now this is going to revert everything and you're no longer going to have the benefits of game pass or anything that the other person is sharing. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and buy something on the store and then go back and get the benefits of game pass once again, then you're going to have to go ahead and sign out and sign in as the other person. However, the other person is going to be signed in already. However, they're not going to be actively signed in. So you don't have to use like your email and password to sign them in. You just click on it, confirm, and then it'll boot them right back in. Once you do that, that pop-up will pop up once again, click them as the primary account, sign out, and then the other account will have game pass again. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and remove them completely from the system, you have to go ahead and press the Xbox home button or have this pop up here. You're gonna go over to the cogwheel and we're gonna need to go into Windows mode. So we're gonna have to enter exit full screen experience. From here, you're gonna go to the start icon down here. You're gonna hold on it or you're gonna right click so that this menu pops up here. Go to settings. Once settings is here, we're gonna go to accounts and then scroll down to where it says email and accounts. From here, we're gonna have that person's email account. You can click on them and then remove. This will remove them completely from the system. And if you ever wanted to go ahead and add them back again, then you're going to have to go ahead and sign out, sign in and enter their email and password over again. I guess another thing I should also clarify is that as long as you're on your account and you're not signed in as your friend, everything is going to progress as if you own the account. So you have game pass yourself. So it's going to have all your save files. It's going to cross over between PC to PC. It's going to cross over to your Xbox. All the progress is going to count towards your account. You're going to achieve, you're going to get achievements. Everything is going to be as if you're playing the game and you own it yourself. Uh, nothing's going to count towards them. It's not going to show them played as their account. It's not going to affect them whatsoever. Now, another thing is if the other person only has an Xbox and they're not currently a PC player, doing this will not affect them whatsoever. Signing in as them on PC will not boot them off their Xbox. Another thing to consider is if they have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and you are using this on PC, obviously you're going to get all the benefits of Ultimate. If they happen to have their own PC, and they're using Xbox PC Game Pass, then you're gonna get the benefits of that as well. This will work for any tier of Xbox Game Pass. Now, of course, depending on which version of Game Pass they have, whether it be Core, Premium, or Ultimate, is what you're gonna see here. If you happen to have Core, then you're gonna see less games populated on this list versus what you have with Ultimate. Now, I know this video is getting a little long, but I wanted to go ahead and just make sure that I covered every possible aspect of this so that you don't happen to have any questions. But if you did have a question and I missed something, you could always feel Feel free to leave it in the comment section down below and i'll answer to the best of my ability other than that that's it for today if this video worked for you and it helped you out then go ahead and help me out by hitting that like button and subscribing i'll have more xbox lax videos in the future but that's it for today thank you so much for watching hope to see you in the next one